Hello and good morning. So for today, we will discuss about a mobile user characteristic and mobile device characteristic. So a mobile device characteristic and mobile user characteristic are the two most important mobile computing concepts. So you need to memorize and understand carefully what is meant by mobile device characteristic and mobile user characteristic before you plan to develop your mobile application project. This mobile device characteristic and mobile user characteristic would outline how developing for mobile device application would be different when compared to developing for other platforms such as uh, for desktop plat uh, platform and for web. Okay, web. So uh, first we look into mobile device characteristic. So there are five uh, mobile device characteristics that you need to understand. We have portable, connected, limited storage, limited power, and limited resource. Okay, first, uh, we look into portability. So uh, on the mobile device itself, the mobile device is portable. The mobile device are designed to be carried anywhere by the user. So it is uh, small and portable and can be carried anywhere. And then uh, this also means that the data that is stored inside the mobile device is also meant to be portable. Means that you cannot always count that the data would be permanently stored inside the mobile device. There are also in uh, instances where the user might want to switch their mobile devices to other mobile devices and they want their data also to be portable. So if you are designing for mobile device application, ensure that you uh, your data that is stored inside the mobile device are also portable. So how to implement that? Some um, mobile application developer would implement export functionality, cloud storage, okay, cloud storage, okay, portable storage through the use of cloud storage. Okay, next characteristic we have connected. So all mobile devices are connected to some sort of a network or some sort of communication uh, network or relay. So at the very minimum, the mobile device is connected to a GSM network or the data network. So any mobile device that are not connected would be useless. So you would only buy a mobile device because it is connected. So any other user that rely on mobile devices, they would rely it to be a connected device. Even if the device has no SIM card, okay? Even if the device has no SIM card, it must be connected to other alternative networks such as Bluetooth, or a Wi-Fi, but it is would be much more uh, common if a SIM cardless mobile device would be connected to a Wi-Fi. So you have to ensure also when you are developing a mobile application, you must ensure that your application support this characteristic that is connected. And you must make sure that your application would make use of this connectivity. So if you look back into your inside your own uh, mobile device and see through all the application, you will notice that almost all application inside your mobile device are connected to some sort of network. So mostly would be uh, would rely on network connectivity such as Wi-Fi or internet. So there would be very minimal amount of application that are not connected. So this is the concept of uh, portability and connectivity. So every mobile device must be connected to a sort of network. And then uh, your mobile device would be portable. It is designed to be small enough to fit in the pocket or can be stored away inside your bag and then can be used anywhere and then can be switched. Uh, to any uh, mobile devices. 
And then even some of the user might have multiple mobile devices which they can use simultaneously at the same time. Next, we will look at the next concept which is limited storage. So due to its nature, mobile device will always have a relatively limited storage and this trend will continue in the foreseeable future. So when you compare a mobile device with its contemporary uh, desktop uh, computer, you will notice that the storage inside the mobile device would be significantly smaller. Even the largest storage on the mobile device could not challenge the storage available on an average desktop computer or laptop. So you also must keep this in mind when you are developing an application for mobile device. So keep in mind that the storage inside the mobile device are limited. And if you are developing an application that consumes too much space, such as a gallery, make sure that you can develop a way for the user to properly back up their photos easily or provide a way for the user to transfer or back up their files or photo in a medium which is easily accessible. Okay, next we will look into uh, limited power. So one can argue that there are no unlimited power. However, for mobile device, the limitation of its power relies on its battery. There are several factors that affect battery drains, such as um, background processing, extensive processing cycles, um, weak cell towers, and then the use of um, GSM data. It, yes, the use of GSM data when compared to Wi-Fi network. So GSM data would consume more battery power. And then you must also ensure that uh, your application can release the lock on the uh, hardware whenever it is possible in order to limit the battery drain. Also, the use of sensor extensively will also consume the battery drain. So a good application should keep the battery drain to a minimum level or can uh, intelligently anticipate what the user would do with the application. The next we look into the limited resources. So resources in mobile device refer to its memory, processing capability and connectivity. Especially for the memory. So memory inside uh, mobile devices is very precious. So it is limited in mobile device. If you are developing an application inside mobile device, you should take care to reuse object and discard object that are out of scope to conserve memory. This is especially true if you are using or developing in dynamic type programming languages such as Java or C++, where you should uh, ensure that you release the object to the garbage collector whenever the object are out of scope. Right next, we look into mobile user characteristic. So in mobile user characteristic, we have mobile, interruptible, easily distracted, available, sociable, and identifiable. Okay, this uh, mobile user characteristic is extracted from Barbara Ballard uh, books, designing the mobile user experience from John Wiley and Sons. So in the first mobile user characteristic, we understand that user is mobile. So what is meant by user is mobile is that they may move while using the application or between instances of application. So if you look into a mobile a user typical use, you will understand that a mobile user sometimes can use their application at anywhere that they feel like to. So they would use their mobile application at hoc, that is without prior planning. So they may be uh, sitting at the bus station or sitting in the class or inside the home or when they are in the airport. So uh, the point is that user is always mobile. They may use their mobile application while they are on the booth or when they are in between activity. 
So sometimes when uh, they are sitting on the bench in the bus station, then there is an announcement that come in. Afterwards, they would board the bus and sit inside the bus. And while the bus is moving, the user continue using the mobile application. So that's why some resources may not be available while the mobile internet connectivity uh, reconnect back uh, to a new network. So while the user is moving, there might be uh, instances where the connectivity might be disrupted. So that's why uh, when developing an application for mobile device, the developer needs to anticipate when the user would use their application and what is the likely scenario that would happen when the user is mobile. And then the developer must ensure that the mobile application can exit gracefully or can handle um, the application gracefully whenever it detected an interruption in network connectivity. A good example in this, uh, in this situation is a Facebook application and Instagram application. So what happens if the Facebook detect a uh, network interruption? So it will continue giving the user um, experience, okay, pleasant experience while using the Facebook. But it sends a notice to the user telling that there is no network connectivity but the user may continue to write posts and reply to a comment and then it ensured the user that the comment will be published or the post will be published once the mobile application is reconnected to the network and then the mobile application developer might need assurance that some of the resources such as a remote storage might not be available while the network is interrupted Okay, next we have interruptible and easily distracted. This characteristic refer to the mobile user themselves instead of the network. So, uh, in this case, we see that uh, while the user can use the mobile application anywhere, it means that they might also be susceptible to use their mobile application in a noisy environment or in the environment that can be easily uh, distract their attention. So, therefore, mobile users are easily distracted. So user attention in this environment might not be uh, well focused on the application. For example, a user might be using the application in a noisy environment, in a bus station or in an airport. So a user that are writing SMS in the airport or playing games in the airport might be distracted by the airport announcement. And then tasks that uh, are performed on the mobile device should be expected to be interruptible. So another example is that while you are playing games, okay, playing games, or while the user is playing games, sometimes the game can be interrupted by a phone call. So a good uh, software developer or a mobile application developer must ensure that the game would save its state while the user is answering the phone. So it must not let the game uh, go unsafe or it must not uh, let the game uh, crash uh, down if the user forgot to press the pause button. So they must ensure that the game must be paused automatically without the user pressing any button. Another example is that Whenever the user is writing a message, uh, like in WhatsApp, and then the user might be interrupted by a phone call or might be interrupted by uh, another notification, say an email notification. And then the user decided to go to the email application to read an important email. So the messages inside the WhatsApp needs to be saved so that uh, the user can continue uh, writing the WhatsApp messages when he or she is done reading the email or is done answering the phone call. Right, uh, here we look at the situation where the user might be using their mobile uh, devices. So sometimes the user is using their mobile devices while they are walking, 
in a train station, in a bus station, where the environment might uh, interrupt their attention or might distract their attention. And then even then, if they are using their mobile device while they are relaxed, interruption can come in form of uh, phone call or messages or in uh, form of email. That uh, email notification that come in uh, suddenly. Okay, email messages that come in suddenly without any prior announcement. Next, we look into another characteristic, which is availability. So, in the converse side to the interruptibility, is that the mobile user are always available to remote friends and contact. So, it means that whenever the mobile user are using their mobile device, the mobile user has signal to the network and have sent a signal to everybody that he or she is available. Because the sole purpose of owning a mobile device is to make the user available. So why own a mobile device if you do not want to make yourself available? Better if you do not use the mobile device at all. Because the main purpose is that when you buy a mobile device, it means that you want to make yourself available to your friends or your family. So thus, uh, this is another important characteristic. When uh, you are designing a mobile application. So the mobile application must assume that the user want themselves to be available. So mobile devices uh, are likely to be close to the user when whenever the user goes, such as in, even in the restroom, in the bedroom, or in the class. And while the user are traveling, the user might not be far from their mobile device. So selalunya so mobile device uh, akan disimpan bersama dengan user lah. Okay, it means that mobile device is always being kept close to the user. In fact, many uh, people would feel uncomfortable when they are separated from their mobile devices. So this is availability. So if you look on uh, most of the application, even games nowadays, there is a function inside the game that signifies that the user is available. Okay, availability is usually tied with sociability. So uh, sociability is a key metaphor in mobile application design. Right, uh, the sociability in mobile device means that um, it is a way for others to reach you or to ensure that you are available to them and they are also available to you. So the concept of uh, sociability means that you can perform a lot of interaction with your friend, such as giving gift, sharing information, or tagging uh, your friends or your uh, family in an activity. So this is what we call it the concept of sociability, where uh, you can perform social interaction virtually in the mobile device. So if you are developing the application, you must uh, ensure that your application implement the concept of sociability. So a voice call is a socially and technologically assumed between two or more people while they are using the mobile device. In fact, most users might not be interested to use application without the element of sociability. So at the very minimum, the element of sociability would include a photograph. Okay, a photograph of your contact. At least uh, you know how your contact would look like. Okay, your friends, your family. And then it is uh, also include um, the category of your contact, whether they are close friend, co-workers, or even if they are acquaintances. And then another element of sociability is sharing, ability to share information. At the very minimum, your application should uh, implement sharing API. So sharing API uh, enables you to share content to your uh, friends or family. So this is also another form of uh, sociability and availability. So the icon here, you can distinguish between available and not available and do not disturb.
So this is uh, just a simple example on how to implement sociability. And then most of the user expect that uh, application implemented inside the mobile device would use the concept of sociability. So if you look inside your phone, games, okay, you see that games, photo gallery, phone books, even uh, photo editing software implement the concept of sociability to enable you to reach out to your friends and to share the moment of joy to your friends and even to forward the messages to your friends and family. The next we look into another important concept of mobile user characteristic that is identifiable. So because uh, mobile devices are personal, they are usually unique to a single user. The exception for this rule is very rare. So it is easier to have one person with multiple mobile devices rather than having one mobile device that is shared among many person. So usually one mobile device is owned by one person or many mobile devices is owned by one person or being used by one person. But there would almost never in the situation where there are several people or several person share a single mobile devices. Almost never. So what we have here is that commonly you would have one computer in a house or in a home or one laptop in a home where a whole family would share that laptop. But it would never happen that the whole family would share a mobile devices. This is because mobile devices are personal. So that's why we call mobile device, the uh, mobile device are identifiable because it is closely identifiable to the mobile user. So this identification uh, or identifiable concept extend to its unique phone number, unique user account or unique emails associated with the mobile device, unique SIM card, unique uh, contact ad uh, address list and also unique uh, application API. Therefore, if you are implementing a mobile device application, the application that you design for the mobile device should not ask for password or login credential each time when the user is accessing the application. So, it should not be the case like that. So uh, the user shouldn't ask, uh, sorry, the developer should not ask the password of your their mobile application to their user each time they, when the user is using their mobile application. So it cannot be like that. So if you look in your mo own mobile devices, you will realize that None of your application would ask a password okay, from you. So even if you try to access Facebook, okay, there are no password being asked in the Facebook if you launch uh, in, inside your mobile device. There are no password being asked uh, if you want to use Instagram. There are no password being asked if you decided to read your Gmail uh, account. So none uh, password. So what happen if you design an application that asks password every time whenever the user is accessing the mobile application? So it will cause the user to be annoyed. So sepatutnya memang uh, mobile application tak tanya password. It will only ask once. And then the password is protected by the main password whenever uh, the user is accessing the mobile devices. So the main password or the pattern lock, okay, whenever you are accessing the mobile device or the pin. So if you are using iOS or Apple devices, the Apple device will ask you for the pin or face unlock or biometric means such as uh, touch ID. So it will never again ask you the password uh, to your uh, own application. So if you implement a password to your application, the user might become annoyed and will become frustrated 
if they had to key in their password every time if they are using their mobile uh, devices. So this is an example of mobile device application that do not ask password. Actually, you can uh, look at your own uh, mobile device application in your phone right now. Ada yang tanya password. If you look at it carefully, none of it ask password. And if there is a mobile application that asks the password, every time when you use their, the, your mobile application, you will become annoyed. Okay, setiap kali nak login, kena masuk password. Setiap kali nak masuk, uh, nak guna, kena guna password. Lama-lama, uh, user akan frustrated. So, this also I stand for banking applications such as Maybank to you, CIMB, Clicks. All of them do not ask password because nowadays mobile device have already it has integrated biometric reader such as Touch ID or fingerprint reader or face uh, unlock which um, enable uh, access to your bank account without entering your password. So uh, that's all for today's uh, lecture. Let's look at this uh, exercise. So for the exercise, please list uh, three mobile device characteristics and explain them. And then uh, list three mobile user characteristics and explain them. And then briefly explain the concept of portability and limited storage device characteristics in relation to mobile application. Okay, that's all for today's lecture. Be seeing you back in the next video.